Hmm? What's, what you got going on? So what's the topic? Jesus is God, change my mind. Jesus is God, Christianity is true. Whatever whatever problems you got with Christianity, man, you could bring them. You're a Muslim? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Whatever whatever issues you have with Christianity, you can bring them. If you just want to tell me why Islam is true, you can talk about that. And we can, you know, wherever you want to go with it. So can you give me the reference where you had that said that Jesus is God? That he, Jesus claimed that himself. Can you give me the reference where he claimed it himself? Yeah, yeah. Where he claimed it. Where is that where he claimed it? Yeah, Re Revelation chapter 22, verse no, 13. Where he claimed it. Yeah. Like, in the gospels. Yeah, yeah. Revelation, uh, Revelation read how many years after this? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's him speaking. He was already gone. I mean, the three, you're talking about him, him, him leaving the earth doesn't mean he doesn't exist anymore. I beg the devil. Why? Do, do you believe I when mean, you do you believe when you die or like you or when you go to heaven, for example? When you go to heaven, you're gonna not exist, or you just move to the next life, right? Let's 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 stick right here. Let's go. Let's go back to the top. Where he, I'm going to hear where he saved himself when the when the, his disciples heard him. He never claimed himself. Yeah, amongst the this disciples. is John. He never claimed himself. Yeah, this is John. He never claimed himself mm. amongst his disciples. He always said, I'm "Yeah, the Son of Man." No, no, no. Well, the Son of Man is God. That's another thing. But... Everybody, the devil, the devil, the devil, or the evil spirits called him the Son of God, or. God himself, and other people did. He never made that claim himself. I that, verified it myself. He never made a claim that what? He never made a claim himself. He never called himself God. He never called the himself thing, God. The only thing, no, he did. Only thing close to saying that was he said he we quoted Psalms. He quoted Psalms, I believe. I don't want to lie. He quoted a psalm where it said, "Ye are gods." He quoted that. Okay, well, let's talk about this. Who's the first and the last? The Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Okay. Who that? Who that? The creator. That's right. I agree. The one that has no beginning, the one who has no end. Boom. Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. It's Revelation 22, 13. Uh, you keep going to Revelation. This Revelation was, have, Revelation was put in the Bible years after. No, it was in the it was in the scriptures by, and it's and who? it's been in the scriptures. By who? By, by, who? by the by what the church father. When, we, when John had this Vision? What was John at when he had this vision? He, he was on the island of Patmos. What's wrong with that? Okay, where, where is that at? But wait, what's wrong with that? Where is that at? Where is that at? Wait, what, why, why, did, why does that matter? He spoke with I'm Jesus. Saying, I'm saying it's influenced by who? The same people who was in that region years no, ago. No, John, John had a vision and Jesus visited him in a vision and told him who he was. What's the problem? He had a vision. We talking about a man who, said, who claimed he had a vision. A man who claimed he had a vision. All right. Then he's the only person who made this claim. Nobody else is verified. I was waiting. He's the only person who made this claim. Right? I was waiting on you he's to. The only person who made this claim. Nobody has verified. All right, no worries. No worries. I was. I was actually waiting on you to say that. You're a Muslim, right? Okay. I, I know where you for to go. I know where you for to go. I, come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. So, who was a witness to Muhammad's experience in the cave? There are plenty of different. Times when he received revelation, because he I'm I'm asking specifically hold about his cave hold experience. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nobody was there, and if you know the story correctly, what happened once he left the cave? He thought he was tripping. He thought he lost his mind. Mm -hmm. He wasn't sure that he seen what he seen. He did. He wasn't even sure. No, he so, was. He was sure about no, he what he's. Because he, 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 if you read, if you know the history, he thought he was demon possessed. Who who did? Muhammad. He he thought that he was being attacked by a demon. He thought, I mean, he did too he, because he had the vision. I mean, anybody who had the vision who was seeing things, I'm mean, pretty sure you think you go John didn't see something like that. John didn't. I mean, even 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 Mary didn't know when the angels vision Mary, she was she was scared too. She well, well, but immediately was she, was she but hold on. Immediately you could be startled when you see an angel, but immediately the angel announces who he is and what he's there for and brings peace. He literally says, Peace, don't be afraid. And so every person that an angel comes to, including Mary. They are. They have peace. They don't go. They don't walk away from the experience thinking that they were demon possessed. None of them ever. It's, 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 it's more typical in a sense, and I would say I will say this from a human experience because Muhammad, Jesus, they were all human. We're gonna they won't leave it like that. We are humans. Mm -hmm. So from a human experience, 
knowing that you just had this revelation or whatever you want to call it, this visit from this divine source or whatever, mm -hmm. along with the fact that you know you have a duty in front of you, a vast mission in front of you, I'm pretty sure any man will feel intimidated, feel crazy, not sure of himself. But not demon-possessed. His wife was right there to comfort him and let him know that you are meant for this. This is you. You are not losing your mind. He had had confirmation many times. No. So, so again, I'm, I'm shaking my head because you're you're taking Muhammad's experience and you're you're coloring it. Don't color it. Let's take it for what it was. There wasn't a single prophet, a single person who had an experience with an angel coming to them and giving them a revelation. And they left that experience feeling as if they were demon possessed, wanting but, to unalive themselves. But, but, that never happened. So look, this is why this is important, because when you look at how the prophets received revelation, whether it's from God himself or if it was from an angel, if there's a consistency, you there's a peace that they have, there's a comfort that they have, and there's never a fear that they have experienced a demon, ever, ever. So what does that tell you when it comes to Muhammad? What does it tell you? It tells you that Muhammad experienced a demon, not God or an angel. That's your opinion, though. That's not we. We basically going off the of theory and opinion. No, that, we going that's we're going off of opinions and theories. I'm going. I'm going off of. So this is what I'm going off of. I'm going off of the consistency and the continuity of the previous prophets, their experiences, right? Well, how how they experienced the angels, how they experienced God. Putting that in a collective, we have a large sample size. Put that all, okay? They, it's all like this. I look at Muhammad's experience. Nothing like that. Nothing like the large body of examples that we have. That's number one. Number two, I look at what comes after. What did Muhammad teach? Was it in line with the prophets, or was it against what the prophets collectively taught? And the answer is. What Muhammad taught was was against the collective message of the prophets. How? So, for example, the prophets taught that God was the Father, was the Heavenly Father. No, hold on. First of all, let's go back to where this came from. We're talking about prophets who was of the Jewish tribe, the Jewish tribe. This is how they taught. This is their terminology. Mm -hmm. This is their terminology. And yeah. the word "father" and the word "father" that they use in the Language that they spoke did not mean father that we seen. Yes, father. it does. It meant father, the word the, the word was simple. It was ab or abba. It was simple. Okay? It literally means father. You can be a father in many senses. You can be an adoptive father. You can be a literal father. You can, you know, stuff like that. So, you, so do you call God father? Absolutely. But here's the here's the point. So you're hey, wait. comparing God. So you wait, 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 here, on man term. Here, here's, the, here's the point. No, no. Father is, is a God term, not a man's term. We are re reflecting God's character. It starts with him. The father figure oh, starts with God. He's the original father. Then... I don't want to get caught up on that right there because like, that's like a hit or miss, like that father term. I mean, we it's, it's not a hit or miss. This, can, it's not a hit or miss because, look, this is what I'm talking about. It, the reason why it's not a hit or miss is because it was according to the doctrine of the prophets. The theology of the prophets, what they taught about God, was that he was, by identity, the heavenly father. He was the heavenly father. Okay. So that's by God's identity. He, does, he doesn't change. But when we come to the Quran and Muhammad, he, he teaches that God emphatically rejects being a father in any way, shape, or form. Do you know why? Doesn't matter why. Why? Is it, what do you mean it doesn't matter why? The re, because I mean, sure, if... I, mean, I understand your belief. I understand your belief. I understand that, that but for me... I question everything. Mm -hmm. So I want to know why. So I question why myself, like why? Because anything that in comparison, that, that's comparing God to any type of human relationship or human form or human anything is we draw a line between that. So God, when you say father, you call another man a father. So we don't call God. That's the only reason why, because you don't want to call a supreme being something that you can call another human. All right. I heard you. The reason why I disagree is watch this. Do you call would can you call a man your master? You can. Is Allah your master? Yes. 
So that is a title or a relationship that is relatable to Allah that's shared among humans. But the word, I mean, we talk in English, though. No, we're not talking English. English. We're talking, I mean, like, we, we talk speak, English, no. We say master. I mean, no. you say master in English, since you're going to get that, you're going to get the same thing. But when you say mook, you say mook, you're talking about a mastery that's on a level of ownership, mastery, and sovereignty. Doesn't matter. So, well, here's the point. You have a master and servant relationship shared between humans, and Allah also takes that, or I wouldn't say he takes that, but he also has that relationship with you, that with believers, that you are, that nobody, you know, his creation is are his servants and he is their master. That's literally what the Quran says. So this is a relatable thing, relatable relationship that we find with Allah that's also among humans. So the excuse that, oh, well, you know, this father and son terminology, like that's 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 stuff that you that you that's that's human terms, that's human relationships, and that God is way above that. Well, that that's that excuse goes out the window because we see that Allah uses human terminology and relationships and applies it to himself and how he deals with humankind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that that excuse doesn't work. The, the very fact that he goes against the prophet's theology, man, shows that he's not he's not a prophet of God. And what he experienced was not from God in the cave. Okay, we we weren't there in the cave. We the one there in the cave. We're going off of beliefs. We going we both going off of beliefs at the end of the day. Yeah. Beliefs and beliefs is not founded on knowledge. Like me and you know that we are talking right now. It's not belief, no belief between that. You know what I'm saying? So knowledge and belief are two different things. Like we're going off of something that been accounted and from the Islamic point of view it has been verified that he received different revelations in many forms and people was around and seen him with his uh, revelations so like I said we're going to base, based off of beliefs theories and things that happened in the past we won there so but we have we that we have to we and we have to we have like of course I, I wasn't there at Jesus crucifixion but I'm yeah. believing the you report. Choose to believe that. You choose to believe it. Yes, because because I but I choose. To, I have my I have my reasons why I'm choosing to believe it. I, yeah, yeah. You know, so like when it comes to this, you know, same with Islam. Like I'm, I don't know for sure if he was in a cave or not. I am only going based off of the report, the authentic reports about his life. You know, that's accepted. So I'm just going off what what you know what that what that stuff says. So according to the, what we get, we get that he was in a cave had an experience with some type of spiritual entity. And in that experience, he came out fearful, sweating, pulsing, you know, uh, nervous. Suicidal. Huh? Suicidal. Suic suicidal. Yep, suicidal. All of these things, which does not match the experiences that I see when the prophets of old have experiences with angels and with God. And you are correct about that, but... The station that Prophet Muhammad holds is above the station of every other prophet. No. This is what the hold on, hold on. See, you saying no, but I'm telling you the belief. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm I'm not here to tell you this is this and this is that. I'm telling you the belief system itself, the uh what you call it, the creed itself. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm saying. trying to help you with that because I know the creed. No, no, I don't need no, I don't need no I'm I'm like I say, we choose to believe what we want to believe. Like if I, if I choose to believe that a black cat causes a bad luck, I choose to believe that. That doesn't mean it causes a bad luck. You see what I'm saying? Yes. You see what I'm saying? Because I choose to believe that. Yeah. Uh, but so, according to the Quran, the Quran literally says, uh, "This is what Allah says in the Quran." But I'm we, he I'm says, "We make said. we make no <laughs> distinction between the prophets." That's what Allah says in the Quran. We make no distinction. So for you to say. That is part of the creed that Muhammad holds a higher station than the prophets. Distinction, distinction mean what? Distinction mean what? Mean no, that, none of them are greater than the other. There's no difference. No, that, that, that's not the distinction that it's talking about. That's not the distinction that it's talking about because it, it says there are five prophets that are high esteem, and Jesus Christ is the second. The one Quran doesn't that. say that. Yes, it does. It says it named five prophets of high esteem. Okay, where? You know where I mean? Give me the verse. Jesus. I had to find it. I will find it. I, I mean, you want me to find it right now? Yeah, yeah. We got we got time. We chilling, yeah. man. Ain't no rush. We chilling. Like if you got if you if you got a second device, go ahead and uh hop on hop on the search. And I need I want to see that verse where it says there are five there are five prophets of high esteem or anything of in that like. All right, let me see if I find it for you. I'm telling you right now, man. I'm a shake, and I never seen that verse. 
Yo, what? I'm a shake. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I know, 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 I yeah, I mean that that's a it's a I would tell you that that's more of a tradition that you've learned, not a Quran verse. It's not in the Quran that there's five if esteemed. Wrong, if, I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, I would tell you I'm, I'm tell, I don't mind telling you I'm wrong. If, mm-hmm. I, if I'm wrong, I'll tell you I'm wrong. But I know that uh, Quran is like Quran is like the By the way, on YouTube, guys, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, I'm hearing that the likes are not matching the viewership. We almost got a thousand people on YouTube watching. So go ahead, guys. Let's hit the like button. If you haven't already, if you forgot to do it, make sure you guys smash that like button like you fear disobedience from it. All right. You guys know the drill. Hit that like button. While while our friend is looking for the verse, I'm going to go ahead and read a couple of super chats here. We got uh, Immortal, Immortal who says Genesis 127. Why out of billions of planets, God decided to give us his image? Or are you implying that there are aliens that look like us too? Uh, It's not about physicality, my friend. It's not about us looking like God, but it's us being made in his image, having his character, sharing his traits in that sense. That's in the way that we are in his image, not that we look like God physically. He's not a physical being. He doesn't have a physical form. All right. Let's see here. Christianity doesn't have objective morality. It's wrong about Noah's flood, Adam and Eve, and the order of creation. It condones slavery and genocide. If you disagree, then add me so we can debate this. Come to TikTok. Oh, the Bible if, condones slavery too in, uh, in the New Testament. Oh, you had a whole slave escaped and the man told him to go back to slavery. What? what? Philip? The book is in the book of Philip? What's the book? What, what, the slave escape? And a, it's, in the, it's in the New Testament, bro. The whole chapter d- dedicated to a slave that escaped and they wrote a letter telling him to go back to slavery. No, they said they, no. They they told the master to free him. He was a brother in Christ. Well, the point of the matter is slavery was still condoned. It so depends on what you're talking about. about. If you're, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to whoever. Not you're not talking not, talking not the chance. No, there wasn't no chattel slavery in the Bible. That wasn't condoned. That was actually condemned. It says so whoever kid. Well, slavery back then, slavery just ended in, in recent 1700, 1800. Yeah, that type of slavery was not condoned by the Bible. Actually, according to the it's, Bible, it's a, according a, to the Bible. Hold on, let me finish, bro. According to the Bible, that kind of slavery, mm-hmm. where you were supposed to be put to death for that type of slavery, if you kidnapped somebody from their home, forced them into slavery, um, or sold him off. You are to be put to death, and the person who bought him was to be put to death. That's Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. So, yeah, uh, for that person who's saying all that kind of stuff, you can come on TikTok. If you have 200 followers, you can come on and uh, engage, and you can go ahead and uh, bring those topics up if you want. Shake logic is the truth. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen to that. God bless. God bless. God bless. I'm telling you, brother, it's not there. It don't exist, man. I would never you lie to you, man. I don't say all that. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been, been something I, I, I say, but... Uh, I'm trying to tell you, right. man. Shake... You, you, uh, you, hold on. you might be right, bro. Shake, right shake logic will never lie to you, man. I'm telling you. Shake logic will never lie to you, brother. I give you that one, but still, this is the point of the matter with that, though, bro. I give you that one because I can't find that enough. I right, know, worries. So I would, I would say this, though. I would, hold on. I would say this, though, about that when it said there's no distinction, it's because people were making up six, making up different groups, following certain property. Like some people follow this property, some people follow this property. You know what I'm saying? So and like had with Moses and with Jesus. Some people remain followers of Moses, the Jews, and some people remain followers of Christ. And there was a separation, so that it became a distinction between which prophet, but that the distinction was eliminated amongst that said they are one prophethood, one group, it's like one solid brotherhood amongst these men. 
Yeah. But the five, there were five who had high esteem amongst all of them because you can't compare Abraham and Jeremiah. You can't compare Why not? Moses and Isaiah. Why not? Moses brought a law. Why not, though? No, I'm saying that's what the people was doing at the time. But I'm saying... You know, you're, you're, oh, you're saying that's what they were doing. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is the point that we got to. Um, you have all the prophets, when we read about them and look at their experiences, their experiences when they experience God and experience angels is completely different from what we see how Muhammad experienced that spiritual entity that he found in the cave. And that spiritual entity that he found in the cave, we find no resemblance when it comes to angels, but we find resemblance when it comes to demons. We see demon possession that looks like that. Yeah. Bro, what you keep talking about these demons for, bro? You keep... Because he thought he was demon-possessed. That's him, not me. He, Muhammad thought he was demon-possessed, and if I was there, I would have put him to the side and said, bruh, Man, you're, you're exactly right. Time, I, I, like think, I like to think realistically about certain things for me to understand certain things, because I'm, I'm in the same situation. I'm in a cave by myself. and some pop up out of nowhere scared of hell. I'm, I'm, I'm I might, I might not just scared. He's, not just he's, it's, he's it's a natural man. He's it's a, not just popping. No, dude. It's not just popping out of nowhere on you. It's the the spirit comes and then grabs him and presses on him to where he can't breathe, and is like yelling at him, "Read, read." He's saying, "I can't read." Let's him go. Comes back again, grabs him, pushes on him, presses on him, holds him down until he can't breathe against his will. Read, read. Like this type, it's oppression, bro. You don't see this with the angels. You don't see this with God, with the prophets. That's oppression. This is why he was fearful. This is why he was, he thought he was suicide. This is why. You don't see this with the prophets, bro. But you, where you, what you do see this is, if you go to the New Testament and you look at the demon possessions, that's what you see. You'll see them, the bodies being thrown to the throne all over the place and them convulsing and uh, uh, being pressed and, and oppressed. That's what you see. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Sure. Because <clears throat> you're saying the demon possession stuff, right? So I'm trying to... What's your question, brother? Go ahead and ask him, man. Do you think what all right, you know true, you know a tree by the fruit it bears, right? Yes. So the fruit that came about from this tree, this man, because the tree and the fruit are symbolic to a man's deeds. So this tree being Muhammad and the fruit he brought, do you think? That could be some type of demon in, in, involved in any of this. Absolutely. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So look, let's, let's see. This religion that this so this man, I'm going to call him a man, this man Muhammad, bro. And over the years, what came about, the peace that it brought, over the years, hold on. When, when practiced properly, I would say this, when practiced properly, well, practice properly, because because the crusades were wars on both sides and foul play on both sides throughout the whole, and still to this day, it's still some type of it's a little crusade. The crusades were to sides. stop is the, the Muslim. It's racism in Christianity. It's probably no, there's not. No, no side is perfect. No side is perfect. No side is perfect. Because did Jesus teach racism? Because they preach that in churches right now. No, they don't. Yep. I've seen it before. I've seen it before. They teach. They preach. They mm -hmm. preach against interracial dating. They preach against all this type of stuff. I've seen it before. With my own eyes. There is no so such thing. There is no you such said, thing. I'm gonna tell you this right now, bro. There, there is. There is. There is no such thing. Let me tell you. You there, might not do it. There is no and such thing as a Christian church. Hold on, Salam. Salam. There is no such thing as a Christian church that teaches racism. That teaches prejudice. There's no such thing. Anybody that anybody that claims. Hear me out. Anybody that claims to be a follower of Christ and is preaching racism is not a Christian. It's as simple as that. 
And that's why, I, and that's why I want to say to you about any Muslim, somebody who claims to be a Muslim or Islamic that does things that are against peace or that's violent, they you they want it's the same thing. No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? When it do I say when it practice properly? I I know, and and so that's what the question is: is does Islam teach these practices, or is it against these practices? That's the question, and so the, so the answer is is that Islam actually teaches the violence. It actually teaches the uh, the prejudice. It actually teaches these things. Oh, you got you got tremendous. You got whole ripping war scenes all throughout the Bible, bro. Especially in two chapters, bro. So we not go. Mm, this bro, this is like. So let's I mean, let's 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 do this. Let's look at the fruit. Cause you, I, cause I like that angle. Cause that's next. Was do, is he? Does he line up with the prophets? No. What about his fruits? Does his fruits reflect that he's a prophet of God? What he taught and how and and what the people following him practice? Let's see. The answer is no. So for, Moses, Moses, Moses for, broke a whole people free from slavery. He, he like he 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 did what he told me did times ten. Yeah, but Muhammad did. Muhammad owned slaves and sold them, black ones. So, you, so you telling me none of the prophets had slaves or owned servants had servants? They had indentured servitude. They didn't have slaves and and based off slave race. Was a norm back then. Slave been a norm always. Having, having black slaves. Slave was a norm for people. Having, it's not normal for us. But what was the what norm about having people. slaves based on race? I mean, it was a it's an evil. I mean, I'm not condoning. It was a necessary evil. It's a necessary evil that people had to deal with. I mean, you think it it's a nest? Wait, 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 wait. wait. In, you in think it's tour, you think it's a necessary tour. evil to have slavery based on race? Because I mean, are we, hold on. Are we going? Are we going to call slavery good? Or me? You going to call slavery good? Well, how, how do we? You look at slavery as an evil, right? We look at that as wrong. Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, I'm looking right? at. I'm look. Yeah, so just understand. I'm not looking at indentured servitude. I'm not. I'm looking at. You look at where, slavery. Yeah, I'm looking at the slate. The type of slavery that is chattel slavery. The type of slavery that is slavery based off race. That's the type of slavery I'm looking at. Not where someone volunteers their service and says, "Hey." I I have no way to, where to go. Um, I have a family. We have no food. I will give you my services. That's, that's service, yeah. yeah, that's indigenous yeah. servitude. That's what the Bible well, talks about. about. We're talking about slavery that was going on. Yeah, and then they. Going on. Okay, so There's Muhammad Muhammad had slaves based off their race. What slave he had? He had so he had multiple. He had multiple slaves based off their race. Which one? So like one? so I have a hadith I was reading to the to the guy before you. It says that Muhammad bought a non-black slave. He was buying a non-black slave for two black slaves. Like he used two black slaves to buy that one. I slave. don't like how I don't do the hadiths. Hadiths been manipulated, and men have paid a part in hadiths. This is how they pay for the Bible. Well, how do you, how do you know anything about Muhammad then? I don't listen. I don't do all the. I, it's some hadiths that are authentic, and you it's common sense. But a lot of hadiths, bro. Well, this, uh, this is authentic. The greatest. I don't have been manipulated. The greatest uh, sahih, bro. Huh? The greatest Sahih. Which one? The one about him selling two black slaves for a non-black slave. I mean, I, I which, one, which, which one? Where is that at? So it's it's. Hold on, let me turn my screen around so you can see it yourself. Because just because say I mean you know it's kings and rulers who 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 force people to write hadith and say it's Sahih. I mean, so I mean just because it says Sahih or just because it's written black and white don't mean I'm going to go believe. Well, this is this is Sunan. This is Sunan on the side. Sunan on the side 4184. Yeah. It says a slave came and pledged to the prophet to immigrate. Sorry. To immigrate. <clears throat> and the prophet did not realize that he was a slave. Then his master came looking for him. The prophet said, Sell him to me. And he bought him for two black slaves. Then he did not accept the pledge from anyone until he asked, is he a slave? And the great, the great Asahi, it's authentic. Like you know? I see it, bro. I don't believe too much. Man, look, I ain't gonna lie. You can hit that. This is a hit and me, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro, because I just know the history of how Kings and rulers and all this stuff force 
scholars and full students to write hadith, bro. Yeah. So, like, I mean, I'm not saying that what you're saying in the hadith is wrong or is it wrong. I'm just saying I, I'm getting to hadith to get to me, bro. Would, would, you say, would, you, would you say, like, that that right there, what we just read, is, is wrong? Would you say that? I want to say that. I mean, I would have to actually look at it and actually just sit there and study, like, even with the Arabic, though. So, it's like, but that don't even sound right because that sounds like a, something that goes against. Because with Hadith, bro, like, Hadith, like, how most of people do it, like, if you find one Hadith that contradicts something else, like, you dis disagree with the Hadith. Like look, look, look. Go against the Quran, or you go find Hadith to go against Islam. Principle, look, look. Hadith, and like for him to trade one slave for two slaves, that, that kind of like and two black that, slaves specifically. Like, yeah, don't say yeah, two guys. I mean, I, two, I mean, I understand what you're saying about the color, but I'm saying this the thing for one for two, it don't even sound right. They don't even sound like that's 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 what it if, was, bro. If it one for one. If it been, if, if, that, that would stood out to me the most because it was one for two. If it would been one for one, like a strange, yep. then it would be a sound more, but like Prophet was against stuff like that. that well, like, well, look. Well, look. The said, well, look I read, he was against. Well, like, he's not He's not against slavery, bro. So look, look. Look at the chapter I'm heading. I'm not saying against slavery. I'm not, against, uh, I'm not saying against slavery. I'm saying against selling one of anything for two of the same thing. Well, That's he wasn't, bro. Look! Look! Look at the um. Look! Look at the chapter heading, bro. This is what also gets me about this. The chapter heading: selling animals, selling animals for animals, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the, you just don't like Abraham. <laughs> 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 you just don't like, hey, what? Well, I'm saying, saying this. I would say this though. They I mean, it's always been racist amongst Arabs. Like, I didn't But this is Islam. It's not just Arabs. <laughs> Salam, this is Islam that we're talking about. Forget the, forget yeah, Arab culture hold on, hold on, hold on. or anybody. Yeah, yes, you, you talk about Islam. You talk about Islam. Yes, it is Islam, but the same time, Arabs, and I would say this with proudness, I would say this unapologetically, Arabs are not like, I didn't hear Arabs say that black people can't be Muslim. Yeah. I heard this like, I just, like two weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I understand, like, they mindset. So I understand, like, that racism is, I understand it. But do you see, but like, because remember, it has, nothing to do with it has, it has, right. it's true. So here, here's my thing, though, because remember, we're talking about fruits. So the Arabs who follow Muhammad would have a basis for acting the way they're acting because of stuff like this. Because stuff like this is in Islam, where selling animals for animals, selling black slaves, buying them, and for, for one non-black, like they're they're worth less or whatever. Like th that type of ideology is in Islam. So they have a basis for having that attitude. Is it, is it in Islam or is it in their culture? Or is it it's in is that this is Islam, bro. If, if for the most for the Muslim Arabs, for the Muslim Arabs who have a racist undertone to their attitude, they get it from Islam. It's embedded in Islam. <laughs> I don't want to say they get it from Islam because I don't want to say that. I don't want to say they get it from Islam. I don't want to use that particular word. I want to, I, because that particular word has its own meaning. So when you say Islam, you say submission to God. That's how I translate that in my mind. I don't, because linguistically, that's how it, that's what it comes out to. That's how I translate it. Well, we're, 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 when we're talking about, no, when we're talking about Islam, we're talking about the religion that Muhammad came professing and teaching. In, okay, in, so in the that's Arabian Peninsula. That's how you want to find it for this conversation. Hmm? Because, and that's yeah, that's, that's what this is. Definition of it. Yeah, that's what this is. So what we're talking about is the fruits. We're talking about the fruits that come from Muhammad. We already saw that his experience was not like the prophets. And now we're seeing what are his fruits? What is he teaching? What is he doing? This is an example. Selling animals for animals, two black slaves for not one non-black. And there's multiple, there's more stuff like this, bro. Bro. There's more stuff like this. This is, this I is what. I can't, 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 like I say, bro, you put out a hot deep. I can't just, I can't, I can't go off that. Like you said, I understand. All right, so you, what if we go to the Quran? On, you focus on, we focus on something that, that be myself, the 
if I would have seen it, mm -hmm. I would have said something some would have stuck out to me too. Yeah. I would have seen the the, the the hidden animals and animals and seen that like, but I already know about the history of the Arabs, the history of the Arab slave trade. Just had to, you just had you had the European slave trade. It was both the Europeans and the, and the Arabs were doing the same thing with two different religions to to the same black people, the same thing. You see what I'm saying? So it's not the religious and now now boy, it was it, it was the people themselves. Okay. So 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 why so why if 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 you okay so if that's the case then why is Muhammad doing this if it's not part of the religion why is Muhammad doing and acting like this? I don't think he did that. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That don't even. I mean, no. See, it doesn't fit what you. You're. I ain't it doesn't. Lie. That's my first time. You pulled that out, and that's my first time even seeing something of that nature. Yeah, like, because look what I'm. What's on the internet, bro? That's on the internet. Anybody could have wrote that. It's internet, it's bro. the hadiths. That's the hadiths are on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> that's sooner dot com. That's in the books. That's in the books, bro. I'm gonna go to the club. 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 Get an old book, get an old Sunanum Ibn Majah book, get an old Jamia Termini Hadith book. I'm gonna get this water out, bro. Get in the books. But I'm I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you more things than this. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing, we would be talking about Jesus. God, you still ain't told me what Jesus said. Oh man, I did tell you, you just rejected it. I did tell you, you just rejected it. And Matthew bought Luke John. What did Jesus say? He was I, I can show you those places too, but right now we're in a, we're in a right now right now we're at a we're at a good place right now. I don't want I John on say on out of the Panamos. You know what I'm saying? I won't. Right now, right now we're at a good place, man. You know, we're at a good place. I want to show you. I want to show you in the Quran. It's racist too. The same as though. I'm gonna show you the same thing in the Quran. But yeah, this is this is the fruits of Islam, bro. This is the fruit of Muhammad. Slave trading, I'm just saying. Slave trading, man. Black people, people that look like you and me. I mean, but what if they if they, if they have been white? We we, we, we just talk down white. <laughs> Uh, I guess. Well, we should... had to come that way. No, we would not be yes, we would. Abs absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. What do you mean? Come on, man. Well, no. Well, well, I'm I'm touching on it because we're talking about the racism in Islam and what it touches on the evil things. It's so fruit. What about the racism in Christianity? There is no racism in Christianity. There's not a. There, look, notice how you see how I can pull up a reference within Islamic sources showing racism. You can't do that with the Bible. You can't go to a single verse in the Bible and pull out uh, pull out racism. You can't, because it doesn't exist. I mean, you can with the Jews and the Gentiles because because once I said the Jews didn't want to see with the Gentiles because why they were unclean. It was a form of racism. Well, and get and get. Jesus, but, told us, but, Jesus said, "I came from my people." No, so no, no, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> salam, salam, stop, stop right there. I'm just what, so saying. what you salam, stop right there. What you have in the Bible with it comes to the Jews and the Gentiles. The Bible says in Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile. No Jew nor Gentile, no free nor slave. So the Jew who's acting weird towards the Gentile, and in, in fact, Peter was doing this and was called out by it by Paul, was corrected. That type of stuff is corrected in the Bible. You'll never see that stuff condoned or, or, or you know, allowed. You'll never see that. You'll see it checked right on the spot. Peter got checked. For acting different toward the Gentiles. You're right about that. Yeah. In Islam, I can show you this stuff of clear racism. Unchecked, promoted, allowed. In the Quran? In the Quran? Or outside? Both. I just showed you outside the Quran. I can show you in the, in the Quran. I, I, I don't care. About, I don't want to see it in the Quran. All right. All right. Let's go, go to chapter 3, verse 106. Chapter 3, verse 106. Bro, we not finna do that, bro. 
Bro, that's not talking about no slavery or nothing like that, bro. That's not bro. You think you know what? Elijah Muhammad used the same thing to turn the Quran against white people, bro. He used the same type of play on words to say that the white people will show the blue eyed white devil because a certain person of Quran because they're a certain color or whatever. Bro, that's saying black is just a color that people have always associated with evil. And white has always been a term that people always associate with white. That's why I don't let people call me black. I really don't like people calling me black because I'm not, I don't like that term. You see what I'm saying? But like I'm saying, like that's, that verse right there, bro, has nothing to do with slavery or anything like that, bro. So let's read it. It says, on the day, on the day of resurrection, some fa when some faces will become white and some faces will be will become black. As for those whose faces will become white, I'm sorry. For, uh, uh, as for those faces who, as for those whose faces will become black, it will be said to them, "Did you reject faith after accepting it? Then taste the torment for rejecting faith." That's what happens when you know you're, you're going to turn black. And as for those faces that will become white, they will be in Allah's mercy. Therein so they shall dwell forever. Man, stop. Bro. That's not what and mean. and and if not, not you gonna you gonna I, be turned I, I, black. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying and what you're getting at, but I don't get that when I read that because I'm I'm looking at the area. Guy. I don't see that because it's talking about a whole different sense. Like you would have to actually. Go deeper to the Arabic itself and pull out its meaning. Like the, the, the translation, I don't. The English translation is weak. Okay. So let me show you now the background of this. I want to show, show you, man, that we don't we don't make this stuff up, man. So even in the Quran, it says that people's faces will be turned white and they're going to heaven, and then people will be turned black and they're going to hell. Wow. But hey, you know that's um, you know you gotta you gotta dive deep into the Arabic, I guess, to. Really, uh, I mean, because really parse sense, that so out, huh? Sure. I did see. I mean, it's, I mean, would you associate black with? I don't have my, I don't have my Arabic dictionary. I just realized that. Yeah, the word is black. It's I mean, black and white. Black is, a, a black is associated with what? In the in the in the English dictionary, what you get black? You gonna see evil? You gonna see dark? I mean, it's the same thing. It's so tough. why you even call yourself black? Not in the Bible. So you call yourself the same thing? Not you in the Bible. Like, I'm just saying, like, so why you stand with? I mean. Like, let me show you. Let sad. me show. Let me show you something. I know you said you don't like hadith, but I have to show you this. Come on, I have to show you this. Just because, because we're on that, you know that that part, that subject there. So I have to show you this. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Do 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 do. This is tough, man. There's there's no way uh you know that I could I could be Muslim with this stuff. There's no way in the world. I mean I could be Christian and I just you know, heard this the history part from our ancestors. I could do that. You know what I'm but it's it really the same thing on both sides. Do you do you understand do you understand the difference between because you I think that you actually started off explaining this the difference between what the religion actually teaches but and what bad people do so oh, both sides. yeah so bad people doing things in Christianity that goes against the Bible they're not Christians even if they claim they are they're not Christians and woe to them you can't find what they do taught in the Bible that's my point. Like the, like, like the Oklahoma City bomber, the one who bombed Oklahoma back in the night. Yeah, like, so like, none, the name of Christ. yeah, none of none of that is in none of that is in the Bible. That's the Bible is emphatically against that. But in Islam, I'm showing you that this stuff is in Islam. It's in the teachings of Islam. It's not that there's bad Muslims who are going against the religion, you know, and not a, no, they are in. This is what is taught in Islam. That's what I'm showing you. It's a huge difference. Slavery, slavery. So, uh, so would you have if, if you could have a slave, would you have a slave right now? If I could have a maid to clean my house, absolutely. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'
<laughs> yeah, but I'm not. Yeah, I, I would never have. I would never have a slave like. You would have, you have a servant. I would never. I would. Yeah, I would have a servant. I would never have a. I would never have a slave where I bought them. You know, uh, based off their race, they're stolen from their home, uh, and I would. I would never indulge in that. I would always condemn that. Always. Yeah. So, I right, look. So look at this. Oh, you're great. It is, man. It is, man. But you know, you know, this is why, this is why, you know, I, I do this, man. You know, I'm what a is shit. This verse they say Jesus is going there and Matthew Paul and Luke and John there. Oh, you still ain't got to that. All right. I already showed you all that. You switched the goalpost on me. <laughs> At first, you asked me, where in the Bible does it say Jesus is God? So I showed you, but then you was like, oh, well, no, Revelation ain't good enough. I want to wow. see in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John now. I want to see. Why he, why he wait to wait in? Why he wait 300 later to say that? <clears throat> wait, wait, 300 years later to say that. No, that is not 300 years vision, later, my friend. It's not 300 years. I, I hope you don't have... You Do you think that God can't reveal things in a vision? I'm saying, why he doesn't say it in a vision? Wait, does, it, does, it, does it matter? If he says it in a vision or... or, or wait, wait, if he, if, whether he says I'm the first and the last here in the flesh on earth, or if he says it when he's in heaven and gives that a revelation to John, what, what's, what's the difference? I did back it up. Revelation chapter 22, verse 13. Yeah. All right, so watch this, man. I don't, I don't want us to get off track of this. Let's go. Now, so. so this is Mishkat al-Masabi, Masabi 119. It's also transmitted in Jamia Terminally and stuff like that. So this is what it says, bro. It says, Abu Dada reported, God's messenger is saying, God created Adam when he created, and God created Adam when he created him and struck his right shoulder and brought forth his offspring white like small ants. And he struck his left shoulder and brought forth his offspring black as though they were charcoal. Then he said to the party on his right side, to the white offspring, to paradise, and I do not care. And he said to the party in his left shoulder, the black ones, to hell, and I do not care. Similar to what we just saw in the Quran, this, this is talking about just straight up offspring created this way. They're created white, created black. Whites go to heaven. Black people go to hell. This is this, this is literally race. I'm not going. I'm not going. I mean, I'm not going to go against what you're saying right there. But like I said, at the same time, like when it comes out, first of all, the Hadith has got one name at the beginning of it. Like Hadith, like they got one name at the beginning of it. I don't even read. Period. It got, I, I got to see a chain from who that person got it from. Who is usually a chain of narration. Like nah, more just one on, name man. for me to like. Then when I read that, I ain't gonna lie. I would disregard that Hadith anyway. And I had that right to. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, man, this sounds like some racist ass shit. Excuse my language. This sounds like some racist ass shit that they were able to put in the uh, sometimes. I don't know. I'm gonna look at it and disregard that. But that's not what it is. Done it through our history. It's not what it is, bro. This isn't. I didn't know that. What do you mean? That's not what it is. That's, that's what I'm gonna take it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because they've done it through our history. This is Islam, they bro. This is Islam. This is Islam. Yeah, it's, I, it's not. I mean, it's not racist Arabs who's trying to. And, and maybe it is, but this is Islam bro, at the end like, of the day. Like I would say this. It's. It, I, you can say Islam because it's in the books or whatever and it's being promoted and it's being taught because it's in our day books so people are being taught this stuff mm -hmm. but is it pure and authentic islam in its true essence no yes. it's not that's not islam because i'm gonna say that's not islam i'm like man what the f i'm gonna look at you crazy hey, somebody tell me i'm like man that don't even sound right so because that hadith don't even sound right it don't even go against not it don't even sound right first of all it's a story about something that happened at the beginning of time supposedly that nobody was there you see what i'm saying so it sounds like some Fairy tale story, anyway. That somebody said Muhammad said. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, don't even sound right. Well, this is what 
Like, like, the same conversation, look, the same conversation, I'm telling you. This is what it is, man. I'm telling Muslims the same thing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm telling, I'm going to stand up for a whole bunch of conversations. But this is what it is, bro. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, I can show you, like, all, I can show you the Quran. I can show you these hadiths. What I'm showing you is that this is in the Islamic sources. This is what is taught in the Islamic sources. You know what I'm saying? So if people, it does make it Islamic. Because I can put out things in, in Christianity, it depends what denomination want to go. No, if you pull, if you pull out something in the Bible, if you pull out something in the Bible, that's Christianity. I'm talking about, I'm talking about something outside the Bible, like you just pull something outside the Quran that's uh, 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 that's, that's being taught in Christianity. No, this, but no, this dude. Oh my goodness, the Hadith. Let me ask: Do you believe that Hadith and and how many times a day do you pray? You get that from the Hadith. You know that, right? No, you get that from Quran. It's in the Quran. It tells you time. It says the rise of the sun, the setting of the sun. It says it gives you five times. It, get, it gives I, you five times. Show me where it mentions five prayers. It don't say five. It says. Yeah, yeah. Just like where it shows. Five. Yeah. Show me where, it's, where it shows the five prayers. Hmm. You know, there's only so much I can do, man. I, all I can do is just show you the stuff and then, you know, you do what you you do what you want after. You can either duck your head under the sand and ignore it and say, this ain't the Islam that I know and love. Uh, so I may just ignore this stuff or you can see what Islam actually teaches, reject it and come out of that darkness. But all I can do is just show you, man. You got, right. you got to come out of this, man. Surah so, so 11. It's multiple verses. Surah so 11. 114 says, establish prayer at the two ends of the day and in the first hour of the night. How many so is that's, giving you, that's at the beginning. They were just praying two, three times a day. Because five prayers will establish off the roof. So two ends of the day and at the what? Last hour of the night. First hour of the night. First hour. First night. hour of the and night. So the evening. So the evening time. Thirty says. So thirty. Uh, uh, verse seventeen to 18, eighteen says, "Glorify Allah in the evening and in the morning." That's what we just heard. No different. That refers to the morning prayer, and it refers to the afternoon prayer. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it says the morning and the afternoon. That's what we just heard. It was late afternoon. It said evening, and the, I'm sorry, yeah. It says that morning, the evening, which is the first hour of the night, and at the end of the night, that's the that's the other prayer that we heard. That's still just that's still just three. No. Establish the prayers at the two ends of the day. The two ends of the day are Fajr, the morning prayer, the first prayer, and the third prayer, the fourth, the fourth prayer of MacRib, and the first uh one of the night ish. Forger, sunset, the, the dawn prayer, the sunset prayer, and the night prayer. The sunset prayer, the sunset prayer is the first hour of the night. That's the evening, a sunset. That's not the first hour of the night. The first hour of the night is when the night when the sun actually disappears and the redness of the sky disappear, uh, disappears also. That's the first hour of the night. Hmm. That's sunset. Sunset and nighttime, two different things. Because the sun is still bright at sunset. Right or wrong? That's the first hour of the night, bro. It says, bear a prank and glorify him again at night. And also, it said, hold on. It says, before the sunrise and before the sunset. <sighs> before the sunrise and before the sunset. So before the sunset is what? You know, I... I Another I, I, prayer. Another prayer, right? I, I honestly... So that's I, the fourth I, prayer. I, we just had the fourth prayer. And we just no, the you, prayer. no, you didn't. It's repeating itself in many different ways. No, it's not. Okay. I, it's it's okay, it, bro. My brother, it's it's okay. It's okay. 
It's okay. I'll, I'll let you have it because I this literally it like Man, it doesn't it, 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 it doesn't it doesn't matter to, it doesn't matter to me at the, like when it comes to our, our conversation. Like I do not want to spend time on this because you know to you be yours on that. You know who brought it up. You know who brought it up. I know and and I see I see that we're gonna keep going through the Quran, looking at these verses that talk about the three prayers and how it repeats itself, and you're gonna you're gonna interpret it how you still want to. It's still not five. But I'm gonna let you, bro. I'm gonna let you. You got it. You got that. All right, all right, I want right. to stay focused on the issue here. Okay. The issue here is what the Quran is teaching, what the Hadiths are teaching, and the fruits that we see coming from Muhammad. What we see, one of the aspects of that that we're seeing, is racism. That's what that's what we're landing on. The black and white stuff. Black people going to hell. White folks going to heaven. Being turned white. Being turned black. Selling two black slaves for one non-black slave. We see the racism embedded in Islam from Muhammad's teachings and actions. You get what I'm saying? I, I understand what you're saying. I, 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 I understand what you come from. I understand exactly where you come from. Okay. But well, does it make it right? Me, I don't think... And like I said, and I'll say this again, I don't think that is pure, pure Islamic teaching in its essence. Because the teaching of Islam has always been taught before Muhammad came. The pure essence of it. Okay. So that I'm not I'm not gonna say that is that's I'm gonna say I'm gonna repeat this again. That's not Islamic teaching. That's okay. Islam. So then if you're saying if you're saying that the pure Islam was it was even here before Muhammad. And it was the pure submission to God without racism, with love and equality and things of this nature. If that was the pure Islam, then Muhammad came and taught and practiced an impure Islam. Is that fair to say? No, I won't say that either. So the slavery that you're seeing from Muhammad, the teachings on black and white that you're seeing from Muhammad, you're saying you agree that that's pure Islam then? I don't, I don't think that's pure. That's not pure Islam. I don't think Muhammad talked to you. I think that people who had influence, people who had power, manipulated and did their thing, had their way with certain texts and certain books and certain doctrines and influenced that and put that in there for their own reason, whatever. That's why I think. That's my belief. That's why I mean, because it don't make sense because that's not pretty Islamic teaching. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And for somebody and for somebody to hold those for, for a person whether they Muslim or not, I think that that it those birth through ideas that you just showed me are true and authentic. Like I call them a fool too. I'm gonna ask you one more thing. Um how how do you feel about uh men, grown men sleeping with little girls? Little girls, like you talking about oh man, look. I don't think, and I have it. I read different sources, different age groups, and I know I, which one I read for get at with young wife and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't see one said that she was nine. I see one that says she was thirteen. One said that there's not a single hadith that says she was thirteen. Not a single one. I haven't seen a, I, I, I just read a hadith that said how old she was too. I just seen what people basically would guesstimate her age. Got it. So yeah, just to be clear, every hadith, so, every hadith is the same. I, she was six or seven when he married her, um, but it's consistent that she was nine when he consummated the marriage with her. But that's not what I really was asking you. But going on with that, what do you think about that? About Muhammad sleeping with Aisha at her, at her age? What do you think about that? I mean, if that standard is wrong, but uh, then back then that was perfectly normal for anybody of any any culture or race, and in Africa that was normal. And in in Uganda that was normal. Does, does it does it does it make normal. It's, in Arab culture that was normal? Right does now. it make it right? Does it, it, it make it right if it's uh, normal? No, it don't. Okay, so, so I was standing, I was standing against it. I'm hold on, I'm standing against it. I'm on the same side. Like I would say that wrong, but I'm saying in those times that was perfect normal for everybody in every race and every culture. I disagree, but even if that was the case. Yeah, that's go not true. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because that's not even the issue right now. I'm. Let's say that that's true. Okay. That doesn't make it right, correct? 
Yeah, right. Right. So, so then Muhammad is still doing something wrong, even if it's normal, right? I mean, we called it wrong now. They didn't call it wrong then. Who cares if it, if who called it wrong? It's either wrong or it's not. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody. I mean, a lot of people was there. It didn't nobody speak up against it back then. No one, nobody. It wasn't looked down upon back then. See what I'm saying? See now, okay. Like it's like, hold on. Hold on it's like this nowadays. Like, it's either it's wrong nowadays, or it's not, bro. It's homosexuality wrong. Huh? It's homosexuality wrong. Yeah, I, well, we can't talk about that here because TikTok. Okay, let's talk about this. Okay, fornication but, is wrong. What? Is fornication wrong? Yes. Okay. And fornication was wrong all the way up to the 1930s in American history. It was used to be on. It used to be a criminal punishment for the fornication and adultery in America on these lands all the way up to the 1930s. Okay. Because it was deemed wrong by okay. most people. But now, me and you still look at it wrong, but in everybody else's eyes. I don't care about everybody else's eyes. Is it still wrong or not? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Me and you, bro, we right here with this. He's like right here. But I'm not, like, look, like, I, I, I need you to understand, Salam. I'm not asking about opinion. I'm asking about a, a truth. Is it a right or wrong? Is it right? Is it wrong? It's, I'm saying it's wrong. I'm saying it's wrong. I said it's okay. Wrong. Even if even if more people say no, it's okay. It's still wrong, right? In our eyes, yeah. In no, our, no, no. I'm not asking about in our eyes. In our, in our, in our modern eyes. I'm not asking. Uh, here it is again. Salam. I'm not asking about our opinion. I'm not asking about our favorite flavor of ice cream. In our eyes, in your eyes, stro strawberry is good. In my eyes, it's chocolate. It's relative. That's it's not. Relative. Yeah, I'm not asking about re is is morality relative or is it objective? It depends where you live. It depends how you're brought up. It depends on your environment. So you're you saying that morality is re is relative. Is there it ever is there ever a time where grape sleeping with someone uh, against their will is there ever a time in any culture where that is okay? I mean, you, you, I agree with you 100%. Well, so, so even if, if it was lawful in a culture, I'm back here, I'm back. Even if it, even if it was, if it was lawful of pertaining to a particular culture and time, and they was like, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's, it's perfectly lawful. They would, that entire culture would be wrong, correct? <sighs> Say. You, you dealing with you talking about America right now? I'm just saying. Like, so they would be wrong, correct? I mean, yeah, I mean, in our eyes, yeah. No, would they be wrong? Yes or no? Whether let's say in my eyes it was okay, would they be wrong? Yes or no? You are, you are wrong. Okay, so regardless of if it's in my eyes, regardless of the time frame, regardless of the culture, grape forcing yourself sexually on another human being is wrong. Period. Doesn't matter the culture. Doesn't matter the religion, doesn't matter the time, it's objectively wrong, regardless of our opinion. Yeah, you're right. Good. So morality is objective. It's not based on how you I feel mean, or I feel. The issue is when you you talking about rape, though. You talking about rape, though. That, I mean, of course, anybody's gonna say that's wrong because you force somebody against their will, you take away their free will. It's not essential. Okay, so now I'm asking you this now. So now I'm asking you this. For a grown man, listen, Salam. Let's translate now this issue. For a grown man to have sexual relations with a child, is that ever okay? Not to me, no. So then Muhammad was wrong when he did it, correct? If, I mean, if that was the case, was, was he wrong when he did it? And why did nobody else speak up on it? Why okay, why that's just an argument of silence. It? We don't know if people did it. Just answer the question. Because was, it was a norm. So Muhammad was wrong. Because in our eyes, that's wrong. Because now, if we would have grew up in that culture, we wouldn't be saying it's wrong. Is it, what, does that make it okay? Why are we Why are we backtracking? Does that make it okay? If you live If you lived in that time, if you lived in that time, and it was normal in your culture, does that make it okay for a grown man to sleep with a kid? It was normal. It was normal in Jesus' time to kill kids who disrespected. Their Can you answer the question? No, that's not about kids. It's about that's about uh, young adults who understand the law, who know right from wrong. It's not about kids. So now, cause, but still, but please stop trying to change it. Stop trying to change it. Salam, salam. Now you're now you're running from the issue now. 
No, I'm not. I tell you, man, I said yes is wrong. I said yes is wrong. So then Muhammad was wrong when he did it, correct? It's killing a child because. So wait, so Muhammad was wrong when he did it, correct? Bro. We are all right, Dave Miles. I said yes. I said yes is wrong, and I said yes. I mean, what you what, 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 I just need to hear. So yeah. when you say yes, I'm I'm trying to be clear because I don't want to misrepresent you. Muhammad was wrong when he slept with the child Aisha, correct? If that happened, if that happened, if that happened, if it did happen, yes. Well, that that's what the that's what you know. That's what the text says. That's so it did happen. I mean, I just seen I just, I just seen multiple verses. I no, it's the debate about the age. There's no debate about, the, the, age. Debate about the age. There's no it's debate about the age because nobody was there. Okay, let, let's see. Let, let's see. I hear you. 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 Let's let's see if there was a debate about the age. You're right. Let's see if there was a debate about the age. Let's see. Let's see if we find one source that says she wasn't nine when he slept with her. Let's just see. Okay. Here's the first source. Sahih Bukhari. Here's the first source. Narrated. Oh, shoot. This is narrated by Aisha herself. You, do you think that she knew her own age or no? Do you think that she knew her own age? Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's okay, go. so Aisha, she's... Nine years, six years. The prophet married her when she was six years old, and he consummated his marriage when she was nine years old. That's one okay, thing. She narrated her age. Why is it talking to the second person? You know what I'm saying? It's talking to the second person, but she narrated her age. Well, third person. Do you, do, you, do you want it in first person? I can get it for you in first I'm person. Saying, I'm, what, I'm saying that's the second person. Here's another one. Sayyid Bukhari 5158. The prophet narrated Aura. The prophet wrote the, uh, the marriage contract with Aisha while she was six years old and consummated the, his marriage with her when she was nine. And she remained with him for nine years. That's one of the companions. Good. All right, here it goes again. Sahih Bukhari is another one. What do you mean weak? This is Sahih. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm not, I'm saying weak in my, my translation, like weak, like bro, that's some, like some BS, like. Every, so no, like notice, that, so. notice how, each, all right, here's Aisha here. You wanted first person. Here's Aisha. Narrated Aisha, the messenger of Allah, married me when I was seven years old. The narrator Suleiman said, or six years, he had intercourse with me when I was nine years old. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all in the comments, bro. Ain't nobody paying attention to y'all. We bro on a whole different level right now. Yeah, just yeah, just fo just focus on me. Forget the comment section. Do you see how Aisha's speaking in, in first person now? So she says that he consummated the marriage. He had he had intercourse. Excuse me. She says he had intercourse with me when I was nine years old. Wow, wow, why did she? Was she bleeding then? No. Because back then, if the person was bleeding, they, they, they were having sex. That's everybody. That's bro, you, you think? Do you think this? Do you think this is okay, bro? I don't think it's okay. I'm not gonna do what? it. I'm not Look at all these, all of these sources are saying the exact same. There's no difference. All of them are saying she was nine years old when he had sex with her, bro. Every single one is saying the same thing. Watch this. Oh, this one is good. Sahih Muslim, this is authentic, 1422C. It says, Aisha, Allah be pleased with her, reported that Allah's apostle married her when she was seven years old and he was taken to and he was taken to his house oh she was taken to his house as a bride when she was nine years old when he slept with her and her dolls were with her and when he died she was 18 years old you think she was an adult playing with dolls at nine bro she was playing with dolls bro That does not make a person an adult, man. Like we think adult, I'm saying like if yeah, if she if she bleeds, she breed, huh? If she bleeds, she breeds. No, it wasn't, bro. Everywhere, bro, in Africa, everywhere, bro. What you talking about, bro? You had 
Yeah, you study history. I study history abroad, bro. That's how it was everywhere. Bro. Who cares about what other people were doing? We're talking about a prophet. Everybody was wrong. I'm saying everybody was wrong. Good. So the prophet was wrong. So, so guess what? I I got you. I got you. Now now let me ask you this, bro. Let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Because you know that this is still going on in certain countries, right? In certain Islamic countries. Yeah, that shit going on right across the border in Mexico. What you talking about? Right. So if right. So for So for these people, salam. For these people, the Muslims who do this. They have a basis for doing it, right? Cuz their prophet did it. So they're as so as Muslims, they're saying, "Well, this is this is okay in Islam. It's okay to do this. Our prophet did it. He's the best example. Our prophet did it, so this is okay." So, so you drink wine? So you drink alcohol? You drink? Yeah, I drink alcohol. Okay. Yeah. Why? Wow, because Jesus turned water to wine. Jesus turned water to wine. Jesus drank. It's all of that. All right. Okay. Well, so so now so don't let's thing. not run away from the issue. Okay. Okay. So in Islam. It is okay to sleep with young girls. This is taught in Islam because your prophet, these are the fruits of your prophet, bro. All right, no, you know what? I'm gonna ask somebody about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do me a survey of people who, who, who sleep with a nine year old once a month. So I'm gonna go ask a whole bunch of Muslims this weekend where they sleep with a nine year old. I'm gonna get their answers. I'm gonna come back with you. You see what I'm saying? Because that's, that's an interesting, interesting topic, though. That's an interesting topic. I'm gonna go ask some people, like, I'm gonna go ask some people this out the blue about that. Now, sure. Now, do you want to see that the Quran actually teaches and says this is okay too? Yeah, come on. Please, 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 please. I got you. Remember you said, well, you know, they were doing it, um, they were doing it before they before like when they when they hit puberty, you know, that's you know, they they were seen as adults, I mean, right? I mean, that's how, you know. I'm gonna show you that the Quran taught that it was okay even before they hit puberty. That's what I'm gonna show you. That's what I'm gonna show you, bro. And if you stay in the religion after this, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> if you if you still rocking with Muhammad after this, man, I... <laughs> okay. Okay, let me just see if I can zoom in on this real quick. Let's see if I can zoom in. Hold on, man. If you stay after this, man, there's a problem, man. I don't know what to tell you, man. There's a problem. All right. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me, uh, that's not how I want it. Okay. This is the best we, I'm going to get. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it close so you can see it. I'll just see it. Oh, you see it? Okay, for 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 sure, for sure. All right. So this is talking about divorce. This is chapter sixty-five, verse four. Literally, the chapter is called, you know, it's called talak, which means divorce in Arabic. Okay. So this is what it says here in verse four. It's teaching you how to divorce three categories of females. Okay. It says, and those of your women. As have passed the age of monthly courses, for them, the idda, the prescribed period, if you have doubt, is three months. Now, let me slow down. When it says the idda, the prescribed period, that's a waiting period that a woman has to wait um, before she can move on to the next man. Yeah. Okay? It's to make sure she's not pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they're checking, like, you know. For a woman who's past her menstruation, like she's menopause, so she's past her, the age of monthly courses, so she doesn't get periods, and you you know you slept with her, she was your wife, you're divorcing her, but and you're unsure if she might be pregnant, she ain't, she's not getting periods to let you know, then her waiting period is three months to make sure she's not pregnant. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's move on. So yeah. So <clears throat> her waiting period is three months, and for those. Who have no courses, their periods. Now, the commentator here says, i.e., they are still immature. So their understanding is they're divorcing. You know, it says they have no courses. These are obviously they haven't had periods yet. That's what it says. 
for those who have not had, they have no courses. They haven't had periods yet. They're divorcing girls who haven't had their periods. Their idda, their waiting period before they can move on to the next man is also three months, like the woman in menopause. Okay. Now, and it says here, and for those who are pregnant, their idda is until they lay down their burden, right? That's obviously until they give birth. And whoever fears Allah and keeps his duty to him, he will make his matter easy for him. Now, I don't have no problem with the third woman, the pregnant woman. I have no problem with the older one. My problem is category number two. The females, they're divorcing who have not had their periods. The ones who are immature. I see what you're saying. Now, it gets worse because I want you to realize this because we're not just talking about marriage contracts. Oh, they married them, but they didn't. Maybe they didn't consummate the marriage. No. Nah. The fact that they have a waiting period, right? Remember, the waiting period is to make sure she's not pregnant. So the fact that the little girl who's being divorced has a waiting period means that her husband slept with her. That's why she has a waiting period. Because they're trying to make sure she's not pregnant. Let me show you that the Quran actually says this. The Quran literally actually has a verse that says this. That there is, if there is no, uh, if you haven't touched her, she has no itta. There is no itta. No hitta? Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Yep. So you already know. But let, let me just, uh, just for those who maybe, you know, thinking I'm lying yeah, or something like that for them. <clears throat> Am I tripping? Oh, it's 49, my bad. There we go. So this is chapter 33, verse 49 of the Quran, guys. Chapter 33, verse 49 of the Quran. It says, O you who believe, when you marry, oh, let me fix this. When you marry believing women and then divorce them before you have sexual intercourse with them. No idda have you to count for them. Now, look, it even, like, you know, the, the, the commentator even puts in the verse we just came from, 65.4. <laughs> like, it puts that in. They, these two verses go together. So there is no idda, there is no waiting period if you ain't hitta. No hitta, no idda. So the reason why those little girls who have not had their periods, who have not reached puberty, have an idda is because their husbands hit her. They smashed. This is to I get that. I get, I'm, not, I'm, not, I, like, I'm not gonna disagree with nothing. Just, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. can't disagree with. Yeah. But if I can disagree with them, I mean, yeah. I, I get you that. So, bro. From what from what we saying, I give you that now. If if it's saying what it's saying, like I give you, I, I, I'm not saying I give you that one. You so that one so. so if you but still, said, but let's, uh, let's get back on. No, no. <laughs> let's get back on top of this. Well, I can't talk this anyway. No, nah, this is the topic. <laughs> nah. This this is the topic. No, 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 bro. <laughs> this is. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't <laughs> You ain't about to is Jesus God your way out of this one man <laughs> He trying to is Jesus God your way out of it <laughs> Salam bro you are funny man that's what <laughs> That's fine and all, but look, before we go to the Bible, and I want to, because I want to be fair, I want you to bring up your objections to the Bible and, and deal with it, because you're you're dealing with Islam, I'll, I want to deal with the Bible, so we'll do that. 
But first, I got to hear you, man. <laughs> What's up, bro? I got to hear you, man. What's up? Well, you know I would say that wrong, bro. You know I would say that outline, bro. This thing, no, come on. So with, with this being and what you consider the word of God, and you know that this is wrong, you know that this can't be from God, right? I mean... I'm going to say this in all confidence, bro. With the Bible and the Quran, bro, throughout history, bro, I know that man had played a part in the original, uh, in, how can I say this? Twisting up and messing with the originality of both texts, bro. So I don't know. I'm not saying, look, I'm a look. That right there was kind of like, man, hold on. Boom, man. So I don't know. Like, I mean, I like, I took that one chin, bro. <laughs> I don't want you to just take it out the on the chin. I don't know what people about that right there. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be talking to people about that with more. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like they could have kind of through me before. I ain't I ain't never seen that in that light like that, bro. I'm gonna take it right there for something. Look, that I I don't just want you to take it on the chin, man. Like this is this you know if you watch me, bro. I don't I don't do this for got you points. I I don't care about that. Yeah, 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 I care yeah. about truth and understanding. I don't, I don't want you to just be like, yeah, you know what? You got me on this. I want you to have the conviction and understanding that this cannot possibly be the word of God. It can't. Okay. Not teaching this stuff. Remember, we was talking about the fruits. What, would, what did we go over? The consistency. Muhammad is not in line with how God reveals his message. With how the angels and God revealed come experienced prophets, you know, come to the prophets different from how Muhammad. I ain't trying to cut you off. I'm getting called right now. I gotta go. I gotta go for real. You better eat. Oh, man. <laughs> Open to the cross of all these right now. Man. <laughs> man. 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 Bro, bro, give him his license up, bro. Send Rose and Rose, bro. But same time, bro, I'm going to just stand where I stand there for right now. Do my little research. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're like, what? After that? <laughs> <laughs> bro, leave this religion. Get out of there, man. I'm going hey, to be back on here, bro. I'm going to miss you because I'm going to go right there. So. All right. Peace, bro. Appreciate it, bro. All right. Peace. Peace. What y'all what y'all what 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 y'all think about that man? Y'all tell me what what y'all think about about this. What y'all think, man? Woo. What y'all think about this? You know, I I I I just I just pray even if I don't talk to him again. I pray that the Holy Spirit pricks at his heart, man. And I mean, I mean, tug on it. I mean, I pray that the Holy Spirit, you know, doesn't allow him to sleep comfortably and convicts him, convicts him of the truth of Christ and the falsehood of, of, of Islam. That's that's my prayer man he got out of here he's you know said he had a call he said he had a call he got out of here before we can drive and twist that nail just in case you listen in salam i want to we're gonna drive that nail in man we're gonna drive that nail in